Hi everybody, how are you today? Today we are making something really good. Another chicken dish, but you know, chicken can be made in so many different ways. Today we are making sweet and sour pineapple chicken. As you can see, the pineapple will go into the sauce. It's going to be a really good sauce today. But the first thing we need to do is spray this cooking pan with this pan. The reason I'm doing this is we don't want any stickage, all right? What I want to do now is I'm going to wash the chicken thoroughly with water. It's very important to dry it with water. And dry it. When you candle chicken, you also must always wash your hands. It's very, very important. Now, I'm using chicken with skin on it. I like to put it with skin on it. Without skin, the chicken will have a habit of drying and doesn't that taste exactly the greatest. The skin is what gives you the flavor. Okay? Okay, slowly wash. Okay, I'm going to have to wash my hands now. Alright. I have to grab the soap. I can't get it. With my hand. Wash my hands. I don't want to get, take a chance to put chicken juice on the flavor because I have to put that away and somebody else can grab it and get very sick. But what I want to do now is on my chicken, I'm going to add garlic powder. It's going to be like an Asian dish. You do not need salt. Soy sauce has got enough salt in it. You don't need to put any salt on the chicken. I also want to add some pepper. Black pepper. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to bake it for about one hour and then we will make the sauce. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make the sweet and sour sauce. What I'm going to do add, 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 is one half cup of brown sugar, okay? There we go. I'm going to go over this chicken here. What I want to do now is add in one tablespoon of cornstarch. Cornstarch will thicken the sauce. Okay, and I want to do now is whisk this together. Okay, what I want to do add is about one half cup of water to mix it with the pine, a little less than a half a cup, because we don't want it too watery, and I'm going to add, it, add this in with the pineapple juice, and we're going to cook it. We don't want it too watery, so we're trying to prevent it from happening, everybody, but we're going to have to cook it for a few minutes. All right. I'm going to put it on the open flame. We're going to cook it on the open flame, and then what we're going to do is when it starts to boil, I want to add in the vinegar and the soy sauce and the pepper and the, and the chopped pineapple. Now what I want to do now is add in one third cup of vinegar, which I already did, all right? The next thing I want to do is add in one tablespoon, one, I mean one teaspoon of wash oil, so, I mean soy sauce. People, I'm not with it today, you've got to excuse me. I'm going to add in one teaspoon of, of soy sauce. The reason I'm adding in so little is because a lot of people have, there we go, have high blood pressure. And I don't want to take a chance and take a chance of people getting sick because of me. All right. This is very thick. It's kind of lovely. Okay. okay. And what I want to do now is I want to put it over the chicken. And I'm also going to mix in the peppers, the green pepper. I'm going to stir it in together. I'm going to cook it for about another 30 seconds. Because we don't want to get it so thick that, oh, the last time I made chicken sweet and sour chicken, the funny part of it is it was so watery and loose, it was horrible. This time, well, we learned from our mistakes, okay? What I want to do now is put the sweet and sour sauce over my chicken. Now, look how good this is coming out. Okay. Okay. Now what I want to do now is add the pineapple on top of the chicken. Sometimes you can mix it with the sauce. I prefer to put it on top of the chicken. It tastes a lot better. And we're going to bake it for about 5 to 10 minutes. There we go. It's a very good Asian dish. There we go. All right. We're going to put it into the oven. 
for about five to six minutes. We need the pineapple to cook into it. So it's the juice. We gotta cook the juice into it now. Yeah, I have to put it on here. Make sure. And this is homemade sweet and sour sauce. This is a fantastic Asian dish. Oh gosh, you guys are gonna absolutely love it. And what I wanna do, ouch, it's hot. Ooh. You mind me guys never touch a hot pan. You touch a hot pan, you know what happens, you get burned. I'm gonna add a little juice here. Look at this. And this is a homemade sweet and sour sauce. I call the sweet and sour pineapple chicken. And please, please subscribe to my show from Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great and wonderful day.